Yo what's up guys, it's the Ecom Zone here and in this video I'm going to quickly show you guys how you can spot scammers with Shopify payments. Now this is the second time I'm recording this because this is actually my second video on this topic because in my first video I made a mistake in step 5 and 6 which I have now corrected. So with my neat trick, the first thing you need to do is update your Shopify settings and it takes literally one minute. You want to open your Shopify dashboard and click on settings in the bottom left hand corner. Next you want to click on the payments button here and click on manage Shopify payments and this is the page you'll be taken to. You want to scroll all the way down until you find a customer billing statement and this is what the customer sees on their bank statement. You want to add your company name and a four digit code. If your company name is too long then I suggest you shorten it a bit or give it a three digit code. Any fraudulent customers has to verify the four digit code that shows up on the bank statement. Now why does this method work? Scammers only tend to have stolen credit card details but they don't have access to the bank account of the stolen credit card. So the benefit of this is that if you send a code to the user's bank account and the scammers can't verify this code then you basically just cancel the order. And this is one of the biggest orders that I've won um, in my lifetime. They tried to scam me, but because I had the four digit code and the bank statement, uh, we luckily won. So how does it work? First, you need to check your orders before you process them. For me, I check if their billing address matches their card details. I also check if the name on the card matches the shipping details. I check if the CVV is provided. I check if it's been flagged as medium or high risk. Now I don't do this with all orders, I only do this with orders above a certain threshold. For me around £100 or above are orders that I always check and of course if they're flagged as medium and high risk they are always checked. So verifying the legitimacy of an order. So let's just say you want to verify this customer just because he entered his credit card details four times and he made a mistake. But you don't know if he's a fraudulent customer or he's actually genuinely a customer. So you're gonna email the customer asking for the four digit code on the bank statement. I also asked them to confirm their shipping address. Next, if they have trouble finding the code and send them instructions on how to locate it. I actually have a Trello board that holds all my email templates so I just copy and paste and change a few things in the email. If they cannot pri provide the code then they're most likely a scammer and you just have to cancel the order. So guys what happens if you verified this 4 digit code and they still open a chargeback? And the answer is you pretty much win. If you provide the bank with a screenshot of customers providing 4 digit code and a screenshot of the customer statement descriptor showing the 4 digit code you created and the way it matches you explain the process to the bank and you pretty much won you also can provide a screenshot of the interaction with the customer of them providing the code and shipping details if there are any and tracking details etc and of course I always write timeline of events so how I do this I put the date description of what happened on that date next line date description of what happened on that update and then so forth and that's basically it thanks for watching guys i hope you found this video informative if you have any friends that use shopify please send them this video because it actually could save them from chargebacks but yeah smash the like button and subscribe for more content at 1000 subscribers i will be doing a free one-to-one -one audit session for one of my followers and i basically will go through their ads their website and any questions they have, I can answer for them. So yeah, let's get to a thousand. Peace.